Hello friends, welcome to Fairs Cloud Learn to Lead. Good morning to all the students. Today we will discuss very important current affairs of 30th and 31st of Jan 2022. You can see two best images of the day, but today we will discuss very important and the most important current affairs. So watch this video till last. But I am requesting you all the students that you have to download our application careers cloud from the description box link. After that, log in with the email ID, then click on this crack current fair section to subscribe our current fairs for one year as well as for two years. Both the subscription prices are very much low. But how we are covering this current fair? We are providing you daily section. In the daily, you will see three things. One is detail. Second is question and answer format. And third is the quiz section, which you can attempt on our application on daily basis. Next is the weekly section. Again, you will receive three things. One is detail. Second is question and answer format and third is the quiz section which you can attempt on our application on weekly basis. Most important section is the monthly and we are providing four type of PDFs. One is detail, second is question and answer format, third is best 100 current fair that is also provided in the form of question and answer and fourth one is pocket PDF which means two liners and the three liners current fair will be provided to you so that you can revise these current fairs in quick format before your exam. But to enhance your performance further, we are providing 20 most important topic wise PDF. It means if you want to cover one particular topic, then you can use this topic wise PDF. If you're a banking student, we are providing three things. One is detail, second is question and answer format, and third is the quiz section. But all these three things are only related to banking and economy. And you can attempt this quiz only on our application on monthly basis. If you want to cover all the past current fair of 2021 just from single PDF, then you can use this exam PDF. We are providing detailed budget and economic survey. Expected question and answer will be provided to you so that you can recall that examiner can make these type of questions from budget and economic survey. If you are appearing for your respective state exam, then we are also providing you state current fair and we are covering every state and union territory. So all these things comes under only one subscription. You have to just download our application careers cloud from the description box link. After that, log in with the email ID, then click on this crack current fair section to subscribe our current fairs for one year as well as for two years. Both the subscription prices are very much low. But if you're a new student, you're just starting your preparation, then I'm advising you to subscribe for two years. And we are providing 10% extra discount on both subscriptions if you use this code ASH10. And if you have any query, you can email us or you can call us on this number or email ID. So let's start 30th and 31st of Jan 2022 current fairs. But first of all, you have to like this video. You have to share this video as maximum as possible and you have to subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform and join a telegram group from the description box link so that you can receive the notification on time. Here is the first question in the most important section. Which country won the Women's Hockey Asia Cup 2022? There are two things which are very important. One is who won this tournament. Second, this tournament is hosted by which country? So this tournament is hosted by Oman and this tournament won by Japan. So answer of this question is B. So in simple word, you can say that Japan won the Women's Hockey Asia Cup 2022, defeating three-time champion South Korea. It means Japan won the gold medal and South Korea team won silver medal. And this marks the third title of Japan, which was previously won in 2007 and also in 2013. So this is the third title which was won by Japan in the Women's Hockey Asia Cup 2022. And the most important thing, bronze medal won by India. So this is most important which can be asked by examiner. So you can see here, Women's uh, Asia Cup, India beat China by 2-0 to win the bronze medal. It means Indian national hockey uh, team which was captained by Rani Rampal. Rani Rampal has won the bronze medal in the Women's Asia Cup Muscat 2022, defeating China in the bronze match held on 28th of Jan 2022. So remember, previously India won this championship in the year of 2004 as well as in the year of 2017. So that's why this is very important because India won the bronze medal under this tournament. And this tournament is hosted by Oman, exact places Muscat. So you can remember examiner can ask the Muscat or Oman. But this tournament is very important. This is Women Asia Cup 2022. Uh, this is the 10th edition. Remember, this is the 10th edition. It is Quadrennial International Women Field Hockey Championship of Asia organized by Asian Hockey Federation. Remember, Asian Hockey Federation. And the top four teams, one is Japan, second is South Korea, third is India and fourth is China. So these four teams of the Women Asia Cup Muscat 2022 are qualified for the 2022 Women International Hockey Federation Hockey World Cup. And you can also remember about Asian Hockey Federation because this organization organized this Hockey Asia Cup 2022. Its headquarters is in Kuala Lumpur. So that's why this is very, very important. 
move into next question who is appointed as the chief economic advisor to the government of india so this chief economic advisor is very important organ of the ministry of finance that's why uh, this appointment is in the most important section so answer of this question is d dr v anantha nageshwaran so answer of this question is d so you can see here government appointed anantha nageshwaran as the chief economic advisor and he will succeed it means the former was k v k v subramanian subramanian so remember former was kv subramanian it means he will succeed kv subramanian who left the office of chief economic advisor vacant in december 2021 after completing his three year term and uh, what is the work of this chief economic advisor so the chief economic advisor examines national and the international economic trends and also undertake research studies focusing on the economic policies and management of the economy that's why this position is very important especially for the ministry of finance and economic survey economic survey is an annual document that details sector wise economic development in india in the previous budget year because you can see here his appointment as the chief economic advisor comes day ahead of the release of the 2022 economic survey on the 31st of jan and this year the economic survey will be presented as a single part instead of the normal two part chief economic advisor is the principal uh, author of the economic survey that's why this position is very important but you can also see the other options here very very important like vivek johari very important appointment he was recently appointed as the chairman of center board of indirect taxes and customs prag agarwal very important um, appointment he recently became the ceo of twitter ceo of twitter next is satyanarayan pradhan he become the director general of national narcotics control bureau narcotics control bureau again very important organization move into next question who won the sir garfield sobers trophy for icc men's cricket of the year 2021 we already covered all the awards which were presented by icc but now only one award this is most important award sir garfield sobers trophy for the icc men's cricketer of the year 2021 goes to pakistan fast bowler shaheen afridi so answer of this question is c so the international cricket council or you can say icc announced the winners of 2021 icc awards which recognize and celebrate the achievement of players and teams over the year of 2021 and pakistan shahin afridi or full name is shahin shah afridi has been awarded with the sir garfield sobers trophy for icc men's cricketer of the year 2021 and this trophy is very important because sir garfield sobers trophy is named after sir garfield sobers uh, former captain of the west indies and the inaugural sir garfield sobers trophy was awarded to india player in the year of 2004 it means this trophy was started in the year of 2004 and first time it was awarded to rahul dravid rahul dravid who is currently the coach of indian men's cricket team So you can also see here Shahin Afridi wins the Sir Garfield Sobers Trophy for the ICC Player of the Year 2021. But you can also remember the other trophies like Mohammad Rizwan. Uh, Mohammad Rizwan is very important player for Pakistan. He recently won Men's 2020 Player of the Year. Men's 2020 Player of the Year. Babar Azam in the ODI category Player of the Year. Joe Root in the Test category Player of the Year. So all men's award represented here. Move into. next question but you can also remember this samriti mandana name this is very important samriti mandana of india won the rachel hey hoy flint trophy for icc women cricketer of the year 2021 this trophy is again very important because the icc women's cricketer of the year award instituted in the year of 2006 and has been named after rachel hey hoy flint the erstwhile english women test cricketer and administrator and she has become the second woman cricketer to win the rachel hey hoy flint trophy more than once after australian all rounder alice perry so this statement is not important but you can read this is the interesting fact about the samriti mandana so remember all the things now we are moving to the next section it is our very important question section but first of all you have to like this video you have to share this video as much as possible and you have to subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform and join our telegram group from the description box link here is the first question in the very important section which tiger reserve from india one tx2 or you can say t t means tiger into 2 award for doubling tiger population since 2010 we are talking about only from india then answer of this question is satya mangalam tiger reserve and this tiger reserve is situated in the state of tamil nadu exact place is erode in tamil nadu so you can see here satyamangalam tiger reserve backs the tx2 or t into 2 award 
सो इंडिया सत्यमंगलम टाइगर रिजर्व विच इज स्टेटेड इन तमिलनाडु एंड नेपाल्स बारदिया नेशनल पार्क रिमेंबर नेपाल्स बारदिया नेशनल पार्क हैज ज्वाइंटली वन दिस टी इन टू टू अवार्ड और टी एक्स टू अवार्ड एंड रिमेंबर अबाउट दिस बारदिया नेशनल पार्क इट इज द लार्जेस्ट नेशनल पार्क इन द लो लैंड तराई एरिया ऑफ द नेपाल एंड इट इज होम टू द इंडेंजर्ड रॉयल बेंगाल टाइगर रॉयल बेंगाल टाइगर एंड द पार्क हैज इंक्रीज द टाइगर पॉपुलेशन बाई ऑलमोस्ट फाइव टाइम्स फाइव टाइम्स फ्रॉम लेस देन ट्वेंटी टाइगर्स इन द ईयर ऑफ टू थाउजेंड नाइन but if we are see the tiger census of 2018 of nepal then total tiger under this national park is 87 so this is almost five times increase in the tigers and remember about satyamangalam wildlife sanctuary which was declared as a tiger reserve in the year of 2013 again this is very important because it is situated near the uh, you can say nilgiri reserve because the reserve that spread across is an important link between the nilgiris as well as the eastern ghat landscape and nilgiri biosphere reserve touches uh, with three states like uh, kerala karnataka and tamil nadu that's why this satyamangalam wildlife sanctuary or satyamangalam tiger reserve is a connecting point or the link between the nilgiris and the eastern ghat landscape and this nilgiri biosphere reserve uh, nilgiri biosphere reserve or the landscape is currently the home to the largest tiger population in the world that's why this is very important and this tx2 award for doubling tiger population is very important because tx2 goal is a global commitment to double the world's wild tigers by the year of 2022 in 2010 in 2010 13 tiger range governments came together for the first time at st petersburg st petersburg summit and committed to double the number of wild tigers in the year of 2022 so in 2010 it was declared that every tiger reserve have to double the tigers by the year of 2022 so this is also known as st petersburg declaration so remember this is satyamangalam tiger reserve and in nepal it is known as bardia national park moving to next question but you can also remember the other tiger reserves here uh, like the doba tiger reserve it is situated in maharashtra even one of the largest tiger reserve of maharashtra bandipur tiger reserve it is in karnataka and indravati tiger reserve it is in chatisgarh and indravati is also one of the tributary of godavari river moving to next question which bank listed its first usd 300 million formosa bond on india's international exchange so the most important keyword here is formosa bonds and it is uh, listed on the india's international exchange and it is worth 300 million dollar bonds and this bank is state bank of india so answer of this question is d so state bank of india listed first 300 million usd formosa bonds on the india's international exchange so you can see here sbi listed you have to remember this amount this is just to raise the 300 million dollar amount from the formosa bonds so sbi became the first indian entity to raise money through the formosa bond so through this issuance india international exchange became the first exchange in the international financial service center to list formosa bond issued by the state bank of india now the most important keyword here is formosa bond what is this so remember it is a bond issued in taiwan it is a bond issued in taiwan and listed on taipei exchange taipei exchange and the bond is dominated by the currencies other than the new taiwan dollar other than the new taiwan dollar and the sbi's formosa bond issuance reflects india's acceptability among the international investors and recently in august and october 2021 dotche bank raised 400 million dollar in taiwan via the formosa bond and even in november 2021 sbi had uh, due listed 650 million usd green bonds green bonds on the india's international exchange as well as luxembourg stock exchange this is again very important question for the banking students so remember what is the formosa bond and uh, it belongs to taiwan it means you can say it is a uh, bond issued in taiwan and listed on the taipei exchange and the first entity from indian side is state bank of india now we are moving to the next question who was honored with the prime minister banner at the republic day camp so this is just a simple question just remember the question as same as in slide and answer of those, this question is maharashtra national cadet corps directorate so answer of this question is b now the question arises what is this prime minister banner so you can see here maharashtra national cadet corps directorate wants the prime minister banner at the republic day camp so cadets of 17 ncc directorates from various states participated in the month long 2022 republic day camp 
various competitions like you can say drills, marching on Rajpath, guard of honor to the prime minister, prime minister rally line layout, flag area briefing and cultural events were conducted during this uh, Republic Day camp. And uh, this uh, out of 17 National Cadet Corps Directorates, Maharashtra National Cadet Corps Directorate won this Prime Minister honor. And senior under officer Siddhesh Yadav was the banner bearer and the cadet captain Nikita Khot was the trophy bearer. So the Maharashtra Directorate fielded a contingent of 57 NCC cadets uh, including boys and girls from various districts of the Maharashtra. And they represented best to best drills marching uh, on Rajpath, guard of honor to the Prime Minister. That's why this NCC selected for the Prime Minister banner. So remember, it is Maharashtra NCC Directorate. But you can also remember the other uh, options here. Like you can see, first is Pratham NGO. This organization, this NGO won very important award in 2021. This is Indra Gandhi Peace Prize of 2021, especially for its contribution to the promoting the scope of education in India. Next is TVS Motor Company. This motor company won Outstanding, Outstanding Renewable Energy Award. Outstanding Renewable Energy Award at the India's Green Energy Award 2020. And this award is given by IFGE. It means Indian Federation of Green Energy. Next is Firoj Feza Bethar. Uh, this belongs to Bangladesh. And uh, this person awarded as 2021 Change Maker Award. Change Maker Award. All the awards are very, very important. Moving to next question. A book titled The Ten Dollar, Ten Trillion Dollar Dream, authored by whom? Again, this book is very important. Uh, name of the book, The Ten Trillion Dollar Dream. It is authored by former finance secretary Subhash Chandra. So, answer of this question is A. And the book is set to be published in the February 2022. So, this is the debut book and it will be published by Penguin Random House India. So you can see here the picture of Subhash Chandra and the book explores the economic policy issues of India and suggests reformative ideas to make India a USD 10 trillion economy by the mid 2030s or you can say 2035. And uh, it elaborates the performance of the economy on macro parameters of growth such as inflation, monetary management, credit management, foreign capital inflow, fiscal management and the other. And this book also suggests that India needs to adopt a bold and robust economic policy agenda to achieve a $5 trillion economy by the year of 2026-27 and $10 trillion economy by the year of 2035. And this book is important because it is written by Subhash Chandra Garg and uh, he was the former economic uh, affairs secretary, finance secretary of India in the year of 2019 and also served as the executive director of the World Bank. That's why this book is very important and the author is very important. But you can also remember the other options here. Other options like Shankar Acharya you can see here. Very famous economics book he wrote. Uh, the name of the book, An Economist at Home and Abroad. And Abroad. So remember this book name, Arundhati Bhattacharya, the first woman chairperson of the SBI. And she wrote a book, Indomitable. Indomitable. So, Indomitable, basically a working woman notes on the life, work and the leadership. Dr. Ajay Kumar, uh, Defense Secretary and he wrote a book, Force in Statecraft. Force in Statecraft. All the authors are very, very famous and all the books are very, very important. Moving to next question. Center government will convert Dash villages into village of excellence with the technical assistance from Dash government. So there are two things under this question. One is how many villages are selected uh, to convert the village of excellence and with the help of which government. And answer of this question is 150 villages with the technical assistance of the Israel. So answer of this question is C. So you can see here. India to convert 150 villages into the villages of excellence with technical help from Israel and it is decision of the Uni uh, Union Minister of Agriculture Narendra Singh Tomar. So the centre government will convert 150 villages around centre of excellence, centre of excellence basically are created by Israel into the village of excellence in the 12 states with technical assistance from the Israel government. So in the first phase out of 150 villages, 75 villages will be taken up to commemorate the 75th year of India's independence. And Israel government has already established 29 centers of excellence in 12 states. In 12 states. So this uh, um, village of excellence will be set up around this center of excellence. And uh, these center of excellence are uh, 
producing more than 25 million vegetable plants, 387,000 quality fruit plants and can train more than 1.2 lakh farmers per year. So this is very important for the agriculture productivity. And India and Israel also completed its 30 years of diplomatic relation and recently Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Naftali Bennett released a commemorative logo for uh, celebrating this 30 year of the diplomatic relations. That's why this question is very important and remember total villages are 150 with the help of the Israel, uh, uh, with the help of the Israel government. Move into next question. Which company has joined hands with the FIKI to support women-led small businesses across India? So this organization is very important, FIKI. This is the Federation of Indian Chambers and Commerce and Industry. And uh, the company is Meta or you can say Facebook. So Facebook has joined hands with the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry to support 5 lakh, to support 5 lakh women-led small businesses across India. So you can see here Meta or Facebook partnered with the FIKI to enable 5 lakh women led small medium businesses across India. So it comes under the initiative of Meta which is known as hashtag she means business program. And the announcement was made during the Meta's first national women entrepreneurship summit 2022 which was held in virtual mode to encourage and support the micro small and medium enterprises across sectors. And under this partnership Meta will support via three initiatives one is Facebook business coach Second is Grow Your Business Hub and third is Meta's Commerce Partners Program. And this partnership will provide capital assess, uh, relevant digital tools, programs and resources which currently are the key issues faced by the women-led businesses. And this partnership is also part of the Meta's commitment to enable 1 crore, 1 crore small businesses over the next 3 years. That's why this mission is very important for the Indian industry as well as the uh, uh, Facebook. And remember about Fiki. Fiki was established in the year of 1927 and its current president is current president Sanjeev Mehta. Recently we uh, discussed this question so many times and headquarters is in New Delhi. Move into next question. Next question is from picture. It is INPA. Remember this organization is known as Indian Naval Placement Agency. Indian Naval Placement Agency signs memorandum of understanding with IIFL. IIFL stands for India Infoline Limited Home Finance to explore recruitment of the Indian Navy's veterans. And you can see here through this MOU INPA or you can say Indian Naval Placement Agency will identify ex servicemen or dependent candidates for the relevant roles in the IFL HFL. And on the other hand, this INPA aims to enhance second career opportunities for the retired Indian Navy personnel in the private sector. And IFL HFL aims to offer these individual opportunity as per their qualifications, experience, attributes acquired during the service period. And the ex-servicemen will be upskilled as per the norms and the standards of the corporate sector through in-house assimilation and the training program. In simple word, you can say that uh, this IFL Home Finance will recruit the Army veterans uh, specially through the INPA or you can say Indian Naval Placement Agency. Nothing important under this question, but you can remember this question from the uh, picture. Move into next question. So here is the important section. Uh, you have to like this video, you have to share this video as maximum as possible and please subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform and join a telegram group from the description box link. Here is the question. Who represented India in second Asian digital ministers meeting? Again, uh, this is important question, uh, but you can remember this question as same as in slide. This is second Asian digital minister. So this meeting is attended by uh, Union Ministry of uh, Communication and but it is attended by Minister of State of Communication Devusi Chohan. So answer of this question is B. So you can see here India Asian Digital Work Plan 2022 approved at the second Asian Digital Ministers meeting and you can also see here the picture of Devusi Chohan from India and uh, India's Asian Digital Work Plan 2022 was approved by the ministers during the meeting. What about this plan? This includes a system for combating the use of stolen as well as the counterfeit mobile handsets, Wi-Fi accessibility or Wi-Fi access network interface for the nationwide public internet and capacity building and related development. In short, you can say that it is for the digital development. The nations discussed the plan and strategy to strengthen the regional digital cooperation in the field of digital inclusion as well as integration. But this organization is very important which is ASEAN. Total member countries are 10 but some are dialogue partners like Australia, Canada, China, India, Japan, 
USA, Russia, New Zealand, these are the dialogue partners. So ASEAN stands for Association for Southeast Asian Nations and uh, its first Asian summit was held in Bali in Indonesia in 1976 but it was established in 1967 on 8th of August and 8th of August is celebrated as the Asian day and what is the motto? One vision, one identity and one community. And where is the headquarter of ASEAN? Headquarter is in Jakarta, Indonesia. So remember all the things about ASEAN and total member countries are 10. Remember India is not member of ASEAN. India is a dialogue partner of ASEAN. Moving to next question, it is from picture two species of fungi associated with basal stem root found. And you can see here the name of the species, two fungi species named as uh, Ganoderma kerlanis because uh, these are basically founded by a Kerala scientist and second is G. pseudoaplatum a plantum and identified genetic biomarkers. The study of the fungi is known as mycology and the study of algae is known as phycology. So you have to uh, make the difference of these two studies because these are very confusing and these are asked by uh, SSC examiners as well as the banking examiners. So that's why this question is very very important. Remember these are found by researchers from Kerala. Moving to next it is a one liner important point. Here is the first point. Union Minister of Chemicals and Fertilizers Mansukh Mandavia ji launched NIPER research portal. What is the meaning of NIPER? NIPER stands for National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research. So the main aim to uh, spread information about the NIPER research activities, uh, patents filed and publication information at one place. The Department of Pharmaceutical has created this research portal to capture the research activity of all seven NIPERs and to enhance industry academia collaboration. And remember, India is the third largest pharmaceutical manufacturing country all over the world. And remember about Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizer Union Minister is uh, Mansukh Mandavia ji and uh, he is currently the member of Rajya Sabha from Gujarat. Next is SPMCIL. It stands for Security Printing and Minting Corporation of India Limited has set up a, a new banknote printing lines at CNP or you can say currency note press in Nasik and banknote press in Devas in Madhya Pradesh as a part of his modernization initiative. So just read this line and remember about security printing and minting corporation of India. It is government, it is owned by government of India under the Mini Ratna category and uh, its chairman and managing director is Tripti Patra. Tripti Patra, Tripti Patra full name is I think Pritti pa Tripti Patra Ghosh. I think full name is Tripti Patra Ghosh and headquarters is in New Delhi. Next is Prime Minister Narendra Modi virtually launched Pandit Jasraj Cultural Foundation. Pandit Jasraj Cultural Foundation and the foundation aims to preserve India's rich heritage of arts and culture. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi highlighted this similar to yoga, Indian music has the capacity to stir the depth of the human mind. And Padam Awardee Pandit Jasraj was a legendary classical vocalist who belonged to Mevati Gharana. Next, Parliament launched digital Sansad application to make live proceedings of the Parliament. So, the Lok Sabha Secretariat has launched a new application which is known as Digital Sansad, an initiative of the Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla, Om Birla to make the Parliament proceeding accessible to the public at large. And the application help in assessing services such as check, checking personal updates like status of their notices, house bulletins and so on. And it also includes the services like enabling the member of parliament to log in for the attenders, give questions for the questionnaire, for submit notices, for debates or adjournment motions in future. So just read this line. Next, RB imposes restrictions on the Indian Mercantile Cooperative Bank. Just uh, remember this bank belongs to Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh and uh, RBI uh, put some restrictions like a cap of rupees 1 lakh on withdrawals and RB issued these directions. Uh, by exercising their power vested under the section 35a uh, section 35a read with the section 56 of the banking regulation act of 1949 so indian banking regulation act of 1949 next alliance geo and bp opens electric vehicle charging hub at delhi dwarka so uh, geo and bp which is a joint venture and also known as uh, rbml Reliance BP Mobility Limited has opened one of the India's largest electronic vehicle charging hub in Dwarka, Delhi with Blue Smart as its primary customer. But remember, India's largest electric vehicle charging station is situated in Guru Gram, which has 100 charging stations. And this joint venture aims to become a leading electric vehicle charging infrastructure player in India. And uh, Geo BP will set up a network of electric vehicle charging station and battery swap stations at its petrol pumps named Mobility Stations 
and other standalone locations named as mobility points. So just read this news. Moving to next question, it is the question of the day. What was the question of 29th of Jan 2022? Now stands for in the banking and economy. What is the meaning of now? Now means negotiable order of withdrawal. Negotiable, negotiable order of withdrawal. Uh, it is basically a type of account which is uh, an interest earning demand deposit account. Demand deposit account. And a customer with such an account is permitted to write draft against money held on deposit. And a negotiable order of withdrawal account is also known as now account. Moving to next question, it is the question of the day. The world's local bank is a slogan of which bank? So you have to tell me only in the comment box, read these banks and answer me only in the comment box. I am waiting your answer. Please like this video, share this video as much as possible and please subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform. Join our telegram group and press this bell button so that you can receive the notification on time. But it is affairs cloud. Promise that it will boost your confidence in the general awareness section. Definitely don't take life so much serious. Life is fun. Always be happy like this smiley. Thank you guys. Take care and bye-bye.